Hey guys, this is Ray here. I'm the founder of Game Watchers. So the reason for this video is for me to introduce myself, um, why I start Game Watchers. And at the end of the day, hopefully you like my brand, help spread the word, and of course buy my watches. <laughs> I grew up in Malaysia and spent my entire childhood without the internet. You know, I read a lot, I catch a lot of creatures like spiders, tadpoles, fishes, dragonflies, I explore wildlife, I play traditional games like tic-tac-toe, marbles with my neighbors, I draw, I paint a lot, and play musical instruments. I'm a huge fan of Transformers and the Mass franchise, and I can draw some characters by memory. So I did my A-levels examinations in an university in Singapore. Uh, I was doing chemical engineering. Then I joined the uh, manufacturing multinational corporation, spending the first half of my career as an engineer, while the second half in the HR, the human resources management. So on the side, I still indulge quite a bit in creative activities like painting, drawing, I play the drums, I do a lot of photography, I play the piano and the guitar. So I started exploring mechanical watches in 2014 by focusing mainly on interesting designs and attractive pieces from Hamilton, Richard Mill, even Seven Friday. My cousin then introduced me to Grand Seiko and it blew my mind. So I read up a lot of articles and watched multiple YouTube videos about the mechanical intricacies of Grand Seiko. As an engineer and a art lover, I was intrigued by the brand that managed to combine both art and engineering into their timepieces. Not only that, he has a whole zenness and integrity in his company's storytelling and values that separate it from other watchmakers. That sparked my first purchase of a mechanical watch, uh, which is a Ball Engineer 2. It was a solid, good looking watch. But being a noob, you know, I disregarded my cousin's advice and chose a 45mm watch on my tiny 15cm uh, wrist. I thought that was the size of it represents the uh, value. I soon learned my lesson though. I love to watch a lot, but I sold it soon after because it looked ridiculous on my wrist. <laughs> I was uh, blessed to be pretty good in many things, uh, gaming, uh, sports, music and arts, but never good enough to be competitive. This jack of all trades but master of none syndrome makes me question my purpose in life always since I was young. Designing my own watches answered that question. Finally, I can do something that combines all my training attributes. However, I wasn't brave enough to take the leap and start my own brand. Then came COVID and it allowed me some time to assess the feasibility of my dream again. And the rest, as they say, is history. What took me over the edge though was an Arnold Schwarzenegger YouTube video his story of how he pursued his dream inspired me to pursue mine. I spent my career life following a widely accepted blueprint of getting an engineering degree, joining a multinational corporation, climbing through the ranks slowly. But Arnold spoke an, of an alternative purpose-filled path by choosing our own dreams and continuously improving ourselves, being completely focused and working our socks off. Most importantly, he said that do not be afraid of failing because when we fail, we learn even more. So gain comes from the word hagani, which means steel in Japan, brush steel. That's how I like the look of it. I think it's the best purest look on a steel watch. So that's why you see a lot of brushing, 
uh, very little polishing on my watches and the inspiration behind the design basically is a uh, sundial it's an ancient uh, way of timekeeping uh, you can see that um, it's 3d effect there's two plate construction on it the base plate and the ring so that forms the uh, 3d nature of the dial and makes it interesting and textured so c1 is a uh, more timeless and classy uh, salmon and a rough textured dial so i call it sandy salmon whereas uh, c2 and c3 they are brushed steel so i love brushed steel yep so c2 is an indigo color and it really uh, the brushing is of different direction on the base is horizontal direction on the ring is um, is a clockwise or circular brushing and it contrasts with the case itself which is a vertical brushing yep so this really is awesome when you look at it under light different angles and it makes photography really exciting so c3 is basically my original uh, vision of how this watch is like being purely steel colored silver steel all the way so i call it steely silver yep so this makes up the first lineup of game watches so the game type c is for someone looking for great quality and affordable automatic watches with vintage and unique aesthetics it's for someone who loves old school design but is not keen on used watches and for someone who's not particular about brand heritage or high-end movements on an aspirational level i like to think that gain represent an old school culture and truly encourages and celebrates creativity We have so many exciting designs that I hope to continue to bring to the watch enthusiasts and excite the community in future. So please do support my brand. Please do uh, take a look at my website, at my YouTube channel, my Instagram accounts. Uh, so that's all, guys. Um, have a great day. Have a great, great an awesome new year 2022 ahead right so catch up with you all again good day to you